This is a fantastic drawing that was done by Picasso in 1906 when he was spending the summer in Gosol, which is a remote town in northern Spain. In this period, he was doing lots and lots of drawings on exactly this format paper, a high quality paper he really loved to work on, but scarce, expensive. And because of this, when you're looking at his drawings, you often are asking yourself, how many times did he use it? Are there other things to see? The drawing on the surface is this wonderful drawing of these three nudes. You can see how he did light and shading around the figure of the boy and how he used his brush to froth up this white gouache. Behind there, you see there's this smeary, opaque background. And he really was sort of obliterating something or hiding something that was behind this, this drawing. Of course, when you're doing examination, we turned it over and we saw this very faint image on the verso. But it's a little curious as to how it got there. One of the methods is to use infrared light. So it can penetrate the top layers of a drawing and allow you to see what is underneath. And what we found underneath was this well-formed drawing of this seated figure upside down. But when you change its orientation, you get a really good sense that he worked on this drawing and really was fleshing out a fully formed seated figure. However, even though it's close to the figure on the verso, it's not exactly the figure on the verso which led to more questions about how this figure, as well as the figure on the verso, were made. So we used transmitted light, and this is light that comes through the back of the sheet. You can see that we were able to grab all of these lines and forms and shaded figures. As we look at this transmitted light drawing and superimpose it with the images from the IR, we can really start to line up how they relate to each other in the entire composition. What became clear was that this pose and this figure was exactly that of the one you see in the portrait of Richard Stein in the Buddha pose. And this was incredible. You could find such exact detail. Now, he was friends with Gertrude Stein. He was working on a portrait of Gertrude Stein, one that had been where he was working on before he went to Gosol. And this discovery really is an incredible link between having no early sketches and having a completed picture later. And it's just very interesting to see not only that it's on his mind, but how he's working through forms and drapery and features and shading. And we also found a pair of knees absolutely related to this kneeling bather made in the same summer on the same paper in the summer in Gosol. It's been so exciting to find not only such a well flushed out sketch of such a well-known person like Gertrude Stein, but also to find layer after layer of the forms, the way he was thinking about drawing, the materials he was using, and how all this goes to his development in creating his work and his experimental nature when it comes to materials.